Hello. Welcome to this course on the mathematics of lattice space cryptography. My name is Alfred Menezes. I'm a professor at the University of Waterloo in Canada, where I teach and do research in cryptography. In August 2024, the U.S. government's National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, published a suite of standards for key encapsulation and digital signature schemes that are resistant to attacks by quantum computers. These quantum safe schemes are intended to replace their RSA and elliptic curve counterparts, which we know can be completely broken by attacks that run on quantum computers. Even though the timeline for building cryptographically relevant quantum computers remains very uncertain, the effort to replace RSA and ECC with quantum safe algorithms is accelerating. For example, in November of 2024, NIST announced a timeline for U.S. federal government to transition to quantum-safe schemes. Notably, RSA and elliptic curve signature schemes will be disallowed after 2035. As will finite field, elliptic curve, and RSA-based key establishment schemes. Of the quantum-safe schemes standardized by NIST, the ones expected to see the most deployment in the coming years are Kyber, which is a key encapsulation mechanism, and Dilithium, which is a signature scheme. Kyber and Dilithium are lattice-based schemes, and in particular, use lattices that are derived from modules of polynomials. The security of Kyber is based on the hardness of the decisional module learning with errors problem abbreviated DMLWE. This problem, in turn, is related to the hardness of the module learning with errors problem, MLWE. The security of dilithium is based on the hardness of decisional MLWE and also the module short integer solutions problem, abbreviated MSIS. In my short course, Kyber and Dilithium, I gave detailed descriptions of Kyber and Dilithium as specified in the NIST standards FIPS 203 and FIPS 204. These descriptions were algebraic in nature, primarily employing matrices and vectors whose entries are polynomials with coefficients that are integers modulo a prime. I did not explain the connection between the MSIS and MLWB problems and lattices since this knowledge was not needed to understand how Kyber and Dilithium work. The purpose of this course is to fill this gap and to explain why the MSIS and MLWE problems can be viewed as computational problems with lattices. This will justify calling Kyber and Dilithium lattice-based cryptosystems. Sometime next year, I hope to augment this course with lectures that explain the state of the art in attacks on these lattice problems. The remainder of this course is comprised of six lectures. In the second lecture, I'll introduce the short integer solutions problem, SIS, and some of its variants. We'll see one application of SIS, the collision resistant hash function. In the third lecture, I'll introduce the learning with errors problem, LWE, and some of its variants. We'll see one application of LWE, a public key encryption scheme on which Kyber is based. Lecture four will provide an introduction to lattices and two fundamental computational problems, the shortest vector problem, SVP, and the shortest independent vector problem, SIVP. Then in lecture five, I'll explain the connection between the SIS and LWE problems and lattices. In Lecture 6, I'll introduce the ring versions, ring SIS and ring LWE of SIS and LWE, and explain their connections to computational problems in structured lattices called anti-cyclic lattices. Finally, in Lecture 7, I'll introduce the module versions, module SIS, and module LWE of SIS and LWE, and I'll explain the connections to computational problems in certain structured lattices. 
The course webpage is cryptography101.ca. You can find here links to the videos and the lecture slides. If you are just getting started in post-quantum cryptography, you should watch my intro video on post-quantum cryptography and also the video on mathematical prerequisites. My other online courses are Kyber and the Lithium, Cryptography 101 Building Blocks, Cryptography 101 Deployments, and Error Correcting Codes. Please do subscribe to my channel and recommend my courses to your colleagues and to your fellow students.